Ayan. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup. I'm filling in for Tom O'Brien again. He is all good. He'll be back next week. Let's take a look what we got going on. We do have a caller on the line, but let me just get through uh, the kind of what's going on in the market currently. Pretty phenomenal. Yes, Mini up 1.25%. I mean, we're up almost 40 points here in the in the spy. I mean, this is a nice day. Russell up about 0.94%. NQs up nearly 2%. Tech roaring. Dow futures up 1.12%. Trading right up above that $38,000 level. We were looking at that. We were talking a little bit last week. We had this kind of consolidation going a little bit down, and uh, we were looking for a trade above 38,000. Let's see if we can settle there for the rest of the day. Gold contract trading at 2,031, up modestly today. Silver lagging behind a little bit. Our boy Copper, Copper Futures, that is at up about 1.2%. Man, what can we say about the crude oil futures, right? A volatile kind of trading range that we're in right now. From that 70 to 75 mark, a lot of really interesting news going on with it that's kind of adding to volatility. Uh, let's take a look. We have Tesla trading about 212. Maybe we could see a little comeback in it. We'll have to wait, really, I would say, for next week to see what the move is going to be in that. Steel Dynamics back up in that 113 level. The dollar is still kind of strong at 103.28, but trading a little bit to the downside. QQQ is up 1.98%. Google, 1.92. Meta, let's see. We'll talk a little bit about why the techs are kind of soaring right now. Uh, JP Morgan really blowing up about 1.58%. Bank of America up about 1.43%. <laughs> Lucid coming back up for some reason, about 7.17%. Still don't think the company is really set. And then we have the Bitcoin ETFs are actually doing okay today after a few days of a sell-off. So to begin the show, we actually have a caller on the line. Costa, are you there? Sure am. Hi, how are you, sir? How, doing all right, Costa. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It's cold in Massachusetts. I imagine it is. I think we're getting a freeze over the weekend in Florida. By that, I mean it's going to be something about 40 degrees or something. Right. So probably not as cold. Okay. So uh, what are we taking a look at today, Costa? New Morning Mining, NEM. I put in a stop loss in. Like Tommy said, at 38 and a half. I got back in at 35. I bought 500 shares. Now I'd like to know um, where's it going from here and... Can I buy another 500 lower? Yeah, so I think we're, here. Right, we were talking about Newmont uh, a little bit last week. Um, a caller had called for the, the same kind of thing. Obviously, we have a downward trend going on. A lot of these miners are having some issues. One of the things I think is at least good about Newmont currently is, you know, we're still kind of on a downward trajectory, but it, it is on lighter volume. Sometimes that can suggest, a lot of times that can suggest that we're going to have a, you know, kind of a movement to the opposite way. The, the thing for me with mining right now, and, and this is my take, and if, if you want Tom's take, he'll be back Tuesday as well. I just don't know what the catalyst is going to be for it, right? How much lower can we really go down? I'm not sure. You know, we're, we're testing really kind of this low of the year, which is 33.59, and I mean that by like a year-to-date kind of deal. Uh, so we're, we're right back there again, uh, again on lower volume. So it seems like there's going to be kind of a run out of sellers essentially, right? It's just about when do you have that kind of trend reversal that we're seeing. And I think, at least right now, that's kind of a little hard to say when we're going to see that take off. Um, of course, a lot of the miners are having issues right now, kind of just a little bit of, uh, you know, Tim Order was on yesterday, at least talking about the GDX in, the, in its total, and it's just kind of this slump activity we've been, we've been seeing. So um, I was saying to the caller last week about Newmont, that I don't anticipate this going down much, much lower, but I just don't know on what time frame we're going to see a reversal that, uh, you know, we can get back up to something around the 40s. That's kind of that's kind of my take on it right now, Costa. Okay. Thanks, so, yeah, sir. absolutely. And again, Tom will be back Tuesday as well if you want to get his. And of course, you know, Tom goes over uh, so much. So regarding these kind of minors. So thank you very much for calling in. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look. What we got going on? Hmm. Had the okay. I wanted to talk about Celsius, right? Because I actually one of my uh, sinful habits is I is I drink these energy drinks, and I'd really like to get away from that. I got off caffeine for a while, and then stress just gets you, I guess, right, guys? Celsius huge drop down today. Uh, it got downgraded essentially uh, just to a neutral. 
you know, not a cell or anything. This is from Bank of America. Why? The idea is Celsius has actually skyrocketed over the time, right? It, it is a newcomer to this energy market. It has really knocked, I've noticed on shelves in, in a, a bunch of different stores, uh, it, it has really dominated some of the, the main space, right? And that's what you wanna see with these kind of products. What the analysts were looking at is that Celsius has exploded in growth, but the question is, is how much longer can that go? And I think that, at least from the guy over here at Bank of America, he was saying he seems that this triple-digit growth that they had been experiencing, and let's look at this. In 2021, it was up 140% in revenue. In 2022, up 108%. And in the first three quarters of 2023, up 104%. I mean, that is pretty significant growth, okay? And I think what they're saying is that you're gonna see kind of a slowdown in this. So how do we reprice this, this equity here? One of the things I will say about Celsius is I, I don't think that they have big market share outside of the US. So going forward, that's decent for the company uh, regarding a potential for growth. What I'll also say is that they've released a new line of drinks. I think they're called Live Fit. And I'm not a big fan of uh, the normal Celsius, but, but people love them. And, and it definitely has a kind of like, like it's a signal, right? A social signal, right? Like I drink Celsius. This is kind of like the fit, you know, kind of pretty people drink this stuff, right? And uh, they're expanding out to some of the more, you know, gym bros or fit activity. And earlier today, I tried uh, the, the new product they had that, again, has this really dominant positioning on the shelf. And it actually was pretty good. And I, I, I think they've, they're tweaking the recipe, uh, at least for right now. You know, this is some pretty significant volume to the downside. Uh, we'll see how much lower this can go. Uh, but, I, but I do think going forward, Celsius is still uh, kind of a, a decent company, right? They have everything situated, financially speaking, pretty good. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back.